this is my rescue inhaler that I carry in my pocket all the time. You know, the, the point of it uh, is to have them interact with a patient who's got a real medical problem and, uh, you know, from that kind of get information about uh, underlying disease. In, his, in this patient's case, it was chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The things that uh, led up to the disease, uh, the risk factors he had for it, and uh, how, how it's been treated now and his interaction with the medical system there, including insurance and including hospitalizations and doctors and stuff. So it's a, the point is to, to, to kind of give the students an integrated view of the, you know, the, the burden of disease um, that people have um, and how, uh, you know, how they can ask questions in an appropriate kind of empathetic way, um, getting good answers and you know, trying to, to, to learn you know, from the patients uh, um, you know, how best to deal with future patients. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Townsend. My name is Sidney Bailey, and I was going to ask you a few follow-up questions. So you said you have, have had some exacerbations in the past. How many have you had in the past two years? One a year. One a year. Yeah, at yeah. least one a year. And you just and he, Go ahead. he has a stand, he has a standing prescription for an antibiotic and the uh, yep. steroid. So all we have to do is get those filled when it starts, because we pretty much know what's fixing to happen. Um, I was very appreciative of you know them taking the time out to have such a uh, up close and personal conversation with us about their experience with, uh, you know, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, they gave me a lot of gems, uh, things I'm going to look out for whenever uh, I will take care of patients one day. So I heard you talk about that you had COVID-19, and I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about what that was like. For me, it was a high fever to come up real quick, I mean, just all of a sudden, and uh, I just went to bed and stayed in bed about three days. You are also on that medication. Was it an oral medication? I think it's steroid, where okay. you take three one day and two the next day and two the next day and then use it up. But I didn't have to go all the way to the end. I definitely learned the importance of just allowing the patient to kind of really talk and share their experience. We don't have a lot of time to talk to real patients. We do have the standardized patients, which is cool, but usually it's a very like structured interaction. So to just be able to have someone who's just an open book and ready to share whatever was really nice. It kind of just reminds you of like why you're really here um, and just how intimate the relationship can be between a doctor and patient. But have they been pretty consistent for most of your medical history or have you experimented with different types? Uh, that's what I say. They had, they tried me on others, on the other inhaler. And uh, I asked them just to put me, because you know, when they come out with a new one, your doctor wants to, well, let's try this new, see if this will be better. Mm -hmm. And this one works the best for me. Other than the blood pressure medication, you aren't any on, on any other medications, non-respiratory? Yes. Protonics. And uh, he's also on uh, Molexicam, which is for some pain, because he has pain, because he's old. Yeah, arthritis. <laughs> you know, it's a different kind of module where you kind of ask a, a lot of them. And I think the interaction with the patients is, is a way, hopefully, to you know, solidify their knowledge by kind of being able to link it to a person and also to recognize that um, you, you know, they're real people with all these problems. And you know, being sick is a drag, uh, and and sometimes it, it helps hearing from real people about the negative impact it has on their lives. You know, because when you're young and healthy, you know, you're just not sure why people are so grumpy when they come to the hospital. So I think it's an exposure for that to recognize the patients. You know, when they're interacting with them in the hospital, in the clinic, um, you know, the patients don't always feel good. They're not. They're stressed, and uh, you know, to, to work on kind of being empathetic, or at least you know, trying to work to uh, solve some of the problems that are beyond just the medical problems.